hi guys how are you so today I'm gonna be doing um just a quick uh, eye tutorial on the new sugar pill palette that I got it's the heartbreaker palette so I'm gonna do um, just a quick simple eye tutorial using actually I used all four of these um, all four of the colors I'm sorry the lighting is still it's not all that great um, yeah maybe just a little bit say so it's it's a really nice um, quick easy simple tutorial I just threw on a nude um, lip um, I also will be posting up a video uh, a review on this palette okay so real quickly I'm just gonna tell you on my lips I have the Rimmel lipstick um, the collection from Kate it's number 14 it's a nice um this is the lipstick that it looks like number 14 and this is the color it's like a nice I'm sorry guys the lighting is like really bad in here so that's the lipstick so let's just get right into it um I really didn't put on foundation or anything on I just did concealer uh, my face has been not doing too well with the weather so I just I really don't want to cover up my face with foundation right now but I do have concealer on so I already um, primed my lid with Urban Decay Primer Potion and now actually did I no I didn't I'm sorry guys well I'm going to um, put just a little bit from lid to brow and actually let me move this a little bit so I can get you guys in here just gonna be doing this spreading it around a little bit under the eye oh, this camera is just like really annoying sorry guys okay once I do that I'm gonna put on a sticky base this is by NYX and this is in the color um, I think it's just nude it's an eyeshadow base but this is a little bit more stickier so I'm gonna put this on same thing from lid to brow I'm not going to put too much of this product on, just about so. Next thing I'm going to put on my eye is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. This is actually going to help um, the color since they're already so vibrant, it's going to help it be more vibrant. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look really nice. So I'm just going to put this from all over the lid just like so and just a few dots just to the brow bone and I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger you guys can use a brush whatever you whatever works best for you I just think using your fingers it helps um it helps it the milk color spread a little bit better so I'm just gonna put it it's gonna look a little messy as you're spreading it but that's that's perfectly fine it's gonna end like this okay so now I'm gonna take my palette and I'm going to be taking just any flat shader brush I don't have the, the name on here came right off so I don't know but I'm just taking a small shader brush just like this and I'm gonna go in with um, this color right here I believe it's called Moki I'm not sure how it's pronounced but I'm gonna take that color and I'm just gonna apply this all over my lip actually not all over but like halfway so just like so and you're just gonna kind of pack the color on first to the vibrancy that you want I'm bringing it all the way into the inner corner and it's alright if it gets onto uh, the crease. So I'm just going to stop right about there. And I'm also just going to bring it to the lower. To the lower lash line. The inner corner. Just like so. Okay. So it's going to look something like that. Next, I'm going to take 
This is the Sigma E55 eyeshading brush, just like this. And I'm going to go in with, this is the color Velocity, this nice uh, royal blue color, really pretty. And I'm going to take it, just like this. And I'm just going to put it, the rest of this, the rest of the color on the outer corner of the eye. Okay? And I'm, I'm not going to swipe the color on, I'm going to pack it on first. As you see, there's fallout. So I'm just going to tap it in. I know that looks like a lot, but trust me, when you blend it, it looks like that. So I'm just going to pack this color on and I'm going to bring it a little above the crease just like so. So it's going to look just like this. I'm going to keep blending. Let's see if I bring this in for you guys just so you can see a little bit better. And then I'm going to flip the brush over and I'm just going to start sweeping it this way just to kind of blend the colors together. I'm going to take um, a blending brush and this is the Sigma E40 any blending brush that you have and just kind of blend the top a little bit just to soften it make sure it looks a little bit even alright now the color I'm going to go in just above the crease and the nice blending color. Actually, this is bothering me. I'm just going to sweep this off. Oh, that. I should have done that. That's okay. I'm going to take another blending brush, a little bit more tapered, and I'm going to go in with this, this bright green color here. And this is Acid Berry. I'm going to go in with this color and I'm going to take it and this is what's going to go above my crease. So you're going to blend that real nicely. I'm going to be taking just to put underneath the eyebrows it's going to be um, you could choose any any color that matches your skin tone this is the NYX color in nude I'm just gonna put it underneath my brows Now if you lose some of that blue, it's okay to go back in with the blue. Not too much. I'm just pack it in just like this. So that's what it should look like. go back in with the green just to kind of touch up okay and I'm gonna go in with the purple and then do the lower 
lash line right here. I'm just going to blend it. Take the blue and do the red, the outer part, connect it, and then I just want all these colors to blend together. Just like so. I'm gonna clean up underneath here a little bit of concealer. Any concealer that you have on hand. I'm bringing it up just to kind of give it that clean finished look so it should look just about like that okay now I'm gonna go and just run my um, any black eyeliner that you have into the waterline the lower lash the lower waterline okay makes the colors pop a little bit more so this is what it should look like. I just want everything to look uniformed. Look like that. And I'm gonna take Elf liquid eyeliner and just line line my uh, my top here. You can wing it out if you want. Okay. So it should look just like that. I'm going to let this dry a little bit. When I, while I'm letting that dry, I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face. I'm going to take NYX Blush and Peach. Apply it to the apples of the cheek. Just like so, not too much. I don't want to overpower. I'm going to take a little bit of bronzer. This is NYC Smooth Skin uh, Bronzing Powder. And this is in the color Sunny. It's just a nice little bronzing color. I'm just going to just like so. And then I kind of like to just blend it together. And bring it to the temples. And then blend it give myself a nice glowing finish okay so it should look like these <laughs> then now that should be done you can curl your lashes and just apply mascara mascara I'm using is L'Oreal Hydro Voluminous Carbon Black I really do like this um this mascara it really makes my eyelashes really nice and I like that it's black and don't forget to do your lower lashes it looks really nice and I already showed you guys the um, lipstick that I'm wearing so this is the finished look let me get give you a closer look at the pretty eyes 
so this is what it should look like so I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, I'm once again I'm sorry about the lighting guys I will um, get that fixed to get better lighting for you guys um, I will be putting up another video kind of just doing a review on the palette itself um, and just explaining a little bit more and what else I kind of got like a sample uh, loose eyeshadow. So until then, I'll see you guys then. And I will be putting in the uh, description box my um, Twitter and Facebook account down there so you guys can also check that out. Um, leave comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.